Alright, let's have a look at the Coolex CX03. Go ahead over to the box, take the headphone, put it to the side. Take out this user manual. The user manual is easy reading people, it lets you know everything to operate the device. This is Bluetooth 4.10. You have about nine hours of talk time, about eight and a half hours of charge time, about two hours of charging time when your battery is completely dead. You see, you get a micro USB charger, some extra earbuds. Let's have a look at the headphones themselves. You have a nice directional angle for the earbuds. You can see that it's clearly labeled right and left on the side. Interesting design, seem to be very flexible. You have your off on button, and you have your volume up and next track, which is a multi function button. Go ahead and pair it. Take your Bluetooth enabled device, take the headphones from off, press and hold down the power button for five seconds and the blue and red light will start to alternate. Go back to your Bluetooth enabled device, make sure that you have pressed search and you will see it, press it and voila, you are paired. Alright, so basically what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put the headphones on and give them a nice listen to for you guys and report out uh, my initial findings. So putting the headphones on, I just wrap them around my ears like this. As I said, they have a nice diagonal to them for the inner eardrum. But it still felt kind of funny to me. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my Google Music and play a couple of different genres and report out to you guys my findings. So, the first thing I noticed as soon as the music started to play is that I noticed instantly I wanted to adjust my volume. So again, the volume button is the multi-function button. And basically to adjust the volume is when you press the button, you press it, you short press, and you just keep pressing and pressing and pressing, the volume goes up. And it kind of cycles that you go to the highest point and there's no indicator. Once you reach the highest level, it automatically goes to the lower level. So that was kind of disappointing that I didn't have the ability to directly say I want to go low or directly say I want to go high. I really had to cycle through all of the settings before I found that perfect pitch. As you see in the video, I'm still messing with the earphones on my ear because it, I almost feel like they're about to fall out. I don't know if that's just me if I don't have them on correctly, but I, I felt like I had to keep messing with them. And right here, I'm trying to make sure that, again, I have the right volume. So, I'm listening to the headphones. The bass is there. It's not loud, 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 but it's good enough. Uh, this could be something that I would use around the house, but I don't think these are a pair of headphones I would take to the gym. Maybe on the jog, if it's early in the morning and quiet, but since they're not really sealing in my ear, it wouldn't be something i use for the gym. They are um, a great pair of headphones as far as um, build-wise. They look like they are very doable and they are comfortable in the ear. You feel like they're about to fall out. Alright guys, when you finish listening, don't forget, this is the charging port I neglected to tell you guys that. You can charge it right here. So overall, I think the headphones, they seem to be doable. Has some issues with the volume, multi-function button in my opinion. They are at a great price. I have many products by this company. This company is excellent. Um, however, these headphones are not for me. I cannot give them a 5, but they are worth a 4.5. Thank you guys for watching. Your boy taking the bathroom.